Look here. They have been here. set up my camp here at uh, Dovrefjell. I'm back, finally. And uh, look behind me, this landscape is like so nice. I think these beautiful colors will be gone in, in about half an hour and then everything will just change to this like really, really nice deep blue and white. So uh, for the next 30 minutes or an hour, it'll be landscape photography. But uh, let's try, let's have a look. Look at this. It's really nice. The plan is now to uh, get uh, some nice landscapes, uh, get to bed and then get up before the light tomorrow, head up the mountains uh, to see if I can find the musk oxen once again and get some nice experience and some good photos of them. I'm happy I came here early because otherwise it's just I wouldn't have got anything today. I managed to get out of the tent early this morning and now I'm up um, at the little mountain where I think the musk oxen are. Behind me you can see the sun is just about to rise and this is quite amazing. It's so quiet so I think I'll just have a moment here just to look at the sunrise. And here I can see the moon. It's really difficult to find something to complain about. It's just awesome. Too much talk. Time is short because in maybe 20 minutes I think the sun will rise. So now I'm going to go that way. Um, have a look. To see if I can get some good landscape photos and of course to see if I can find the musk oxen. Voila. Time to go. I think I have only a few minutes more before it, the sunrise. But uh, the good thing is that just up there, I see the musk oxen. They are like, let me see if I can get a photo of them. Let me zoom in. They are right there. Yeah? Ooh. <sighs> oh, there are the musk oxen and they are in front of this purple sky. I, I said to myself this time, I have to do a lot of landscape photography. But to be honest, I'm just, I think I'm just more a wildlife photographer. <sighs> I just feel the need to just go up to them just a little bit. I'm not going to spend the entire day with a musk oxen. I'm also going to do some nice landscapes, but uh, just for an hour or two maybe I want to spend with the musk oxen. This like this moment is just it's just pure magic. I love it. And now it's happening and the sun is rising. Ah. Sun is up, almost halfway up. Ha! Huh. Nothing better than sunrise in the mountains. Oh, like here, now you can see this contrast I'm talking about. Like, let's see, like how part of this is in a deep shadow, and the background is just 
Oh, it's good. And on the top here, I don't know if you can see it, just in the middle of the camera right now, I don't think you can see it, but there are about seven musk oxen up there. Oh, let me just grab, hold on. Let me just grab a picture so you can see it. I'll leave this little guy here. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whew. And I'm going up there now. <sighs> okay. In front of me, uh, I see the musk oxen. Okay, so, just want to try to get in the good position. Uh, camera, camera is ready, hanging down here, and uh, two to five hundred millimeter. I see uh, five or six of them, and uh, they don't seem to notice me. I'm trying to go out there uh, on the little hill, and uh, I have uh, now taken off the skis, put them here. Nice. Skis are really good when it's uh, the surface is soft and the snow is deep. But uh, walking here uh, with all this ice, I prefer just to be in my in my boots. But uh, camera is ready, backpack is ready, and now it's time to get a little closer. Look here, they have been here. Tracks. Very, very slippery. So, I'm now in a good position. Uh, the light is challenging because the musk oxen are in shadow and the sun is hitting the, <coughs> the mountain behind. So, I don't know if you can see them. I'm going to sit down here and uh, record some video and make a few photos. So, uh, yeah. been sitting on the rock for a while and the musk oxen are totally relaxed now grassing around up there I have to remember this is not a musk oxen trip this is a landscape trip but uh, I'm just going to spend another maybe half an hour with a musk oxen um, yeah and then I can do some landscapes afterwards yeah Now it's getting good. Now it's getting good. I was lucky. So hold on. Hold on. I have two 
was Coxon standing there. And they were closer than I expected. Come on here. It's so beautiful. I love it. Still here with the musk oxen. I haven't done any landscape photography, and uh, I only have about three hours before I have. Oi, 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 oi. Oh, look at that! Oh, there's, there's a musk oxen up there. Okay, my distance to this one are great. But his distance to me is... <laughs> I don't think he has read the thing about 200 meters distance. So, hold on. It's 50 meters from me or something like that. They were really close to me. Like they just came up over the hill, maybe like less than 50 meters from me, and now they just backed out there. But I got some really good photos. And these muskoxen are just walking around. Some of them are still sleeping. So, I need a cup of coffee. That was too exciting. Here again. Look at this. This is this is crazy. But this is probably the closest I've been to a musk ox. There's a calf and uh, the mom. And they are about probably 30 meter from me now. And they're just grassing. got really close to them, or like, and they got really close to me. So, behind me, I have the musk oxen eating, sleeping, relaxing, and the sun is just about to set, so I'm on my way home. This day has been absolutely really, really, really nice. I have got a few landscape photos, even though it was meant to be a landscape day, but I couldn't, yeah, I just couldn't leave the muskox when I got started, so, uh, oh, it's so good.